guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl coco janae here and i am back with another video i just got back from doing a photo shoot and i'm putting my necklaces back on they got tangled um i feel so naked without them when i don't have them on like y'all don't understand if y'all haven't noticed i literally wear them well i never take them off i mean obviously unless i'm doing a photo shoot but let me get a little bit more comfortable so I don't feel, I mean, I'm comfortable, but I wanna, like I'm sitting on my bed. So I just wanna be more comfortable. So like, give me two seconds. I'll be right back to film this video. But anyways, this is much better. I know this is not the cutest looking outfit that I have on, but y'all, my hair feels disgusting. I'm zero too. But I just wanted to talk to y'all, so. This is like a quick ranting video. I said that I was going to do Vlogmas. We'll see about that. I think what I'm probably going to do is like the entire week leading up to Christmas, I'll vlog. Well, I'll start on December 15th and like vlog every single day, like leading up to Christmas because I'm in class right now. So I'm just trying to like get past that. Like I have a lot of stuff going on right now. But anyways, I just wanted to do like a quick little video for y'all and just talk to y'all for a second because a lot of people, if you follow me on social media, if you don't, add me on Instagram at C-O-C-O -C -O underscore G-E-N-A-I, which is Coco Janae, and like my Facebook page at Coco Janae. So anyways, um, so if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that like I have not really been posting on social media. Like I just started posting like maybe like a week ago just to like kind of like show people that I'm still alive because literally, literally I have been getting like so many different text messages and stuff like that from people like wondering like is everything okay, blah, blah, blah. And literally everything is perfectly fine. Like I took a break from social media uh, for my own personal reasons. I just kind of was, I don't know, like, if you look back on my page, when did I go to the state fair? Hold on, y'all, I gotta go on my Instagram page to see the last time I posted. I posted on October 6th, so that was the day that I went to the state fair, and literally, like, I don't know, when I went to the state fair, I just had like this urge of like wanting to like just get off social media. Like mind you, this isn't like one of those random things that I just random randomly decided to do. Like I've actually been like contemplating on like not being on social media for a while, like a good minute. Probably like since the beginning of January, like I wanted to take like a small break from Instagram um, and just kind of like be present in life but I just never did I mean I, I took a break from posting but I didn't take a break from actually like being off of Instagram or social media so um, like I said I had like a urge when I went to the state fair and I didn't really I tried to like ignore it kind of but it was like becoming like way too much like y'all like I was getting bad with social media like Every morning that I would wake up, that was the first thing I was doing was checking my Instagram. When I would go to sleep at night, like that was, I, I literally would set a bedtime of when I was gonna go to bed and I would literally, like for instance, most times I try to tell myself like I need to be in bed by 10 o'clock because of like the next day of different things that I have going on. And I wouldn't get in bed until like, I wouldn't get to, I would not get to bed until like 12 o'clock, 12.30 because I'm literally up just on social media or like every time I was bored I would just pull my phone out like it got to the point where like I was literally like having meetings with people and I would just be on my Instagram and I was like this is getting really really bad like I don't want to just be on social media every time I'm bored or every time like something was going on so after a week went by like after just contemplating a lot and then plus on top of that like I had like a lot of not other stuff that was going on but like I was seeking God for if you guys don't know by now I'm a Christian but like I was seeking God for answers like on things pertaining to like my life so I was like I just need to take a break 
like it just just take a break so I didn't tell anybody what I was doing I just did it and um I told myself that I was only going to be off of Instagram for at least a week the maximum was two weeks and the first week was a little rough well the first two days I'll say first two days were pretty rough because I deleted the app off my phone because I didn't even want to try to play no games because I knew myself and it was hard because I kept like trying to you know open it or trying to like see if I got any emails from Instagram and like all that stuff and after a while like after like the first two or three days I was pretty okay um and then I started to like take the attention away from Instagram and started to be on Snapchat a lot more and posting on Snapchat or posting on Twitter or being on Facebook like different stuff like that and I still realized that I didn't really feel I still felt like I was I needed the like I still felt the urge of just not being on social media so like after a week of that after that week we had went by me not being on Instagram, I went to the Megan the Stallion concert. Yeah, and then like after that I was like, you know what, like I'm just kind of done. Like I just need a break all together. So I wasn't on Snapchat, I wasn't on Instagram, I wasn't on Facebook, I wasn't on Twitter. And literally what I thought was only going to be the max two weeks ended up turning into like two months. And in those times, like, in that time, I've literally have been, like, just working on myself, um, perfecting my craft, uh, going to school, like, um, educating myself on different things. Um, I've been really just working my craft in the things that I want to do, and I learned to be present in the moment of things and not through the lens of people. And at first, when I first did it, like I was kind of hesitant because um, I know a lot of people like they see what I do through social media. So for the longest time, like last year, I felt so obligated to just post everything that I was doing on social media. And I started to lose the love of what I was doing and started seeking the validation of people. And it was only it's only been one person who I talked to or I didn't really have to talk to this person about it. Like they just kind of like told me what it was. And that's my sister Kaya, like I absolutely, absolutely love her. Like she tells me all the time, like you have such a sweet heart, you have such a pure heart, but you care way too much about what people think. And I didn't realize that was a thing. She's been telling me that since like my junior year of high school that I have to really get out of seeking validation from people and not even care so much of what people think. And I didn't realize that was such a huge problem until like some months ago. And then I just, I don't know, like I just kind of like had that desire where I just didn't want, like I just didn't care anymore. And I got tired of like things that I wanted to post, I couldn't post it because I'm like, oh wait, like I have church people following me and you know, I don't want anyone to think that I'm doing this or doing that. And then like I have this certain group of people follow me and they probably think I'm talking about this person or this time a third and I'm just like, I just, I just didn't want to deal with that anymore. So I just kind of like decided to just get off of social media altogether. And in that time, I remember talking to um, one of my friends and they was just saying how like if you really want God if you really want to seek answers from God and like you're really diligent about it and like if that's something that you really really want to do like God will literally show you himself and that was something that I've always wanted always something that I desired but didn't really know necessarily like how to do it or I knew how to do it I just didn't care enough to do it if that's really what it boils down to so this time around like I was like you know what I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it like I'm just gonna see what happens and two weeks like I said ended up turning into two months and I think that's probably been like the most clearest time of my life like I can't explain this I can't like exaggerate it I can't do any of that like I've never been more peaceful I've never been in more at more peace I've never been more uh, diligent and really learning self-control and really just being able to like love on people the way that I need to like I've been able to I mean of course me and my parents we have a great relationship but like I've been able to love with love on them more um, enjoy my relationship with them more 
my friends like I've been able like just being able to see life in a completely different way um, and life has just really been great like even my parents they said like they've seen a huge difference in me within like these last few months and of course you don't seek necessarily validation from your parents but I think it's amazing that they can see the transition in, in me because I for the longest time well in those few months felt like nothing was happening at all and just I don't know like literally so much has been happening and I'll go into more details as far as like yeah I'll go into more detail like in another video I'll probably do another video um again as far as like some other stuff but I just had to come on here and share that with y'all and also too like it's so funny because even though I haven't really been on social media, people, some people literally only like check up on you. I appreciate the people who did check up on me, but some people only checked up on me just to see like if I was actually like okay or if I was doing bad. I don't know, like I can't, I don't know, I can't really explain it. Like this season of my life has been like great. It's been amazing. Like I know I've been able to just, I haven't been to myself. Like I've been around people, but I've been able to like, just take myself out of being in the spotlight of people lives and just kind of like live Courtney's life. And the people who have been in my life in this season, I definitely believe was like God ordained because it's been amazing. It's been amazing. And I'm just excited to see like what's gonna happen going into the new year. Um, I don't really believe in that whole like new year new me type of thing but i definitely want to like finish the year off strong and go into the new years with a completely different headspace than where i was at the beginning of this year like this year really taught me a lot of different things in my life personally that like i said i will share with y'all in another video but um yeah y'all like i'm doing well i'm going to be consistent starting december 15th with posting on here leading up to Christmas for Vlogmas and yeah with that being said this video was super dry and super boring but yeah with that being said sorry y'all I'm looking up here I don't know why I always look up at the screen this is so weird but hello no I'm just kidding but um yeah y'all this is literally it so yeah I shall see y'all in another video Love you guys. <laughs> Bye.